Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, when you look at this kind of vehicle here, all it does is make you smile immediately. You know, think about this for a second. You know, it's 2012 when we're doing this uh, video on this truck. This is a 1938 pickup. I mean, it's over 70 years old. And the simple fact is, first off, it's been restored, which looks great. But the fact that it's still operating on the road uh, 70 years later, I'd like you to think about what the world was like in, uh, in the 30s when this vehicle came out. You're talking about uh, no color TV, no microwave oven, no cell phone, no internet, no satellite, no, I mean, so many things in the world were different. Um, and getting in one of these makes it, uh, makes it really just an awesome, awesome ride. And I'll tell you why I say that, because, you know, this is one of those vehicles where you could actually drive it to work, uh, you know, on a Friday or whatever, uh, call whatever it is that you're on your way home, turn the cell phone off, throw it on the seat, man, and just drive this thing. It, uh, first off, it really drives surprisingly well for a 38. It's got good power, it can drive on the highway, um, it's got turn signals on it that were uh, added in the rear so that, uh, you know, back then that really wasn't required. And everybody who sees this loves it. They just do. It doesn't matter where you go, man. They give you their parking space. They let you into the lane. They let you merge onto the highway. It's just a different world that this thing here uh, represents. It's like, uh, you know, giving up the, the seat on the bus for, for an elderly woman. Uh, this is exactly what this brings to the party. So let's take a look around for a second, okay? It doesn't have exotic paint colors, but uh, as far as names go, but it actually has really nice paint. So I want you to come on up here and check it out. Sometimes in these darker colors, it's hard to see the clarity, but check this out here. This is spruce green metallic, okay? Sorry, I shouldn't say metallic because it's actually spruce green paint. They didn't have metallic paint uh, offered on these cars, trucks back then. Plus the paint was a lot thicker, heavier duty because they expected the vehicle to get chips, uh, road damage, they were used for farm use, and uh, this would keep them from rusting and things like that. I will say this to you, that this is probably five times better than the factory paint of the 30s. It's a little bit nicer, but it also makes it really nice going down the road. The two-tone paint here, like check out this. Look how crystal clear all that is. The fact is you should be able to see like what time it is in the paint. You should see what uh, camera the guy is using who's taking you pictures of this car. Just get a video. You guys are on the internet looking for these vehicles. If people are not doing what we're doing here, there's a reason why they're not. We're trying to show you the good, the bad, uh, and anything else that, uh, that might uh, help you make a decision whether to buy this vehicle here or you know, maybe uh, get out of the, the hobby business altogether. I'm just kidding. But this right here just throws a smile on your face just looking at it right away. Check out the cool bumper. Like even like this right here, look at the way the mounting system was back then. You know, we didn't have 35 mile an hour crash uh, ratings back then. And we also didn't have, I don't know if you know, but today's cars are required, uh, part of the styling is required uh, for pedestrian safety. Um, so if you were to hit somebody in one of these modern day cars here, it's designed that. This right here is a pretty heavy duty structure. It has a full frame on it. It has a big, long uh, inline six cylinder. So it's got a lot of safety built into the front right here. And as we walk around, it just looks cool. So uh, come on over here. The one thing it does have is uh, an upgraded set of radials. These are actually kind of expensive because these are, uh, uh, they're made by Broadway and they're actually a wider white wall than you would typically get on a vehicle. So they're kind of custom done for this truck. If you wanted to, you can go one step further and go with the wide white and on these old trucks, they look great. Little things like uh, an extra mirror there is kind of nice to have, but I wanted to show you if I could please a little bit of the undercarriage here because look how nicely detailed all of this is. You know, we are talking about a 70 year old vehicle. I don't know if you can see the wood under there. Leaf springs are detailed, rear end. Like the engine, the transmission, the leaf spring, all that's rebuilt. This step plate right here keeps the, the running boards uh, from getting all chewed up. It's really great. Let's keep walking around for a second because I just love this. So I took all of this out and I had it re-cleared so that it would could, uh, weather. Now what a lot of people do, believe it or not, is they buy these for their company and uh, they're able to put their company logo on there. We can actually do that for you if you want. We could wrap the truck with just the company logo or we could have it painted on the side uh, of the doors. But by doing that, you're able to, and I'm no tax uh, advisor, so don't take this, but what other people have done in the past is they've been able to write the truck down because it's a vehicle uh, expense uh, and it's part of the, of the company. Bed's all done in here, painted to match. This tailgate right here comes down, which is kind of cool. I love it, it's just so simple. Check this out. This is how complicated it is. It adds a smile to your face just taking the tailgate down. Look at this. Now this is overly restored. You know, we talk about that sometimes. This is really beautiful inside. 
but that's what makes it so much fun is you can actually go for a ride and they say it just looks great. Everybody who sees this going down the road loves it. Okay, well, this has been had here. Uh, turn signals have been added. It's got a rear bumper, which is nice. You can see some of the detail from behind here, how it's all painted. And uh, this happens to have an upgraded dual exhaust on it uh, for, for a little more power and an upgraded carburetor. So it has uh, almost 40% uh, more power than it came originally from the factory, all right? All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a minute and see what we got there. All right, one of the beautiful things about this vehicle, first off, I, the style we've talked about, and I just love that, but uh, one of the is ease of access. Like, I'm not really sure why cars aren't and trucks aren't built this way, but check this out. I want to show you how easy it is to work on this vehicle. So this right here has been added, this piece right here. And this is kind of a street rod piece so that you can, uh, normally you would just fold the, the other side over and they didn't care because it was, you know, had really thick kind of factory paint. This here is a little bit nicer than uh, what we talked about. But check out the detail in here. So this has, like I said, an upgraded exhaust system on it. So we get a lot more uh, freer breathing. It's got a, a valve cover on it. But most everything else in here is stock has been converted over to two 12 volts. To get to everything in here on top of it, uh, come around, it doesn't matter what side you're on, all of this is accessible. Even has these cool little rubber tabs here. And what that does is keeps this from scratching the fender. You see how that would happen if you, you know, you couldn't help it. Sooner or later, something like that's gonna happen. And these little arms come down. And check that out. I mean, it could not be any easier to work on this vehicle. You got the fuel filter right there, fan blade, spark plug changes. I could change the spark plugs here, probably with my, uh, a uh, glass of wine in my hand. I'm just kidding. I'm a vodka guy. Well, I am a wine guy after the vodka. Never, you don't need to know all that, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, all you can see the detail in here, okay? So, uh, having said that, um, you know, if you choose to do some of your own work, it makes it easy to do it. It makes it easy to get to. Let's say you want to take this thing to a show. It looks really cool when both of those are up, or you show one side up, one like that. This car, this truck here, just makes you, uh, it just makes you smile, that's all button it up here. I'm going home from the show or I'm going home from work. It's just so simple. Simple to do that and simple, you know, just a, a, a more simple world at the time. All right, let's check out the inside because the inside uh, is really awesome. It's just amazing. Okay, I want you to see this because this right here, uh, I don't know if you can see all this right here. The entire uh, dash area looks like wood and the doors as well. But the truth is this was custom painted. Uh, it was very expensive to do, but it looks so good with the wood bed uh, that I didn't want to change it. It's got seat belts in here for everybody, okay, for all three passengers. All right. And this right here is the door handle to actually close it with. It's actually molded into the door. How cool is that, huh? Okay, so here's the turn signals that were added. I think it's important to have them on here. They're not authentic, but uh, I think that, uh, that that's good to have in there, okay? This has what's called a hand throttle. So the hand throttle um, uh, would keep it warmed up. Uh, so you would like choke it first. And for some small farming activities where you were going slow, but you didn't want to put your foot on the gas the whole time, uh, you could actually apply this hand throttle. We'll call it uh, the non-modern version of cruise control, okay? So uh, this is what you would do. You'd pull that out a little bit and that would keep it warmed up and running. It has a great heating system, believe it or not. Pours out lots of heat. One of the things I love so much about this is it has like a tractor trailer kind of uh, uh, parking brake system as well as this cool starter button, which is right here. And you just actually push the two together, the gas pedal on that at the same time, and that's how it starts. You don't have to turn the key on uh, to get power through the vehicle, but that's how it works. Now, throw that into the mix too, and you got things like here. Full gauges on here. Obviously a gas gauge, but circa 1930s, a lot of cars didn't have gas gauges, trucks either. Uh, this has water temperature, this has amps, oil pressure, speedometer, okay? And in here, uh, what we can do for you, what we do for a lot of people is we add um, uh, an AM, FM, uh, CD, satellite, iPod, stereo uh, for not a lot of money. Hide two speakers under the dash. This way you get your modern tunes and your cool old truck and you don't have to cut up the dash or mount anything below or what have you. It just looks really nice. Kind of a cool headliner in there. This has wipers on it too. This little wiper I had to find, it didn't come with the vehicle. Uh, it's a small wiper, but it actually works, which is, uh, I know it sounds crazy. This is my favorite feature of the whole truck is check this out. The front windshield, this is your ventilation system too, if you wanted to, rolls out and all this fresh air comes in 
and it's just like you remember running around as a kid staying outside your parents screaming at you to come in finally for dinner and you eat as fast as you could so that you could get back outside and and go have some fun where today's kids might be inside on the internet for you know 50 hours and you're like throwing them out of the house this is fresh air being outside cool old style just uh it just i don't know this is a cool truck man that's all all right, so when you professionally restore a vehicle, you can, uh, you know, there's restorations and there's professional restorations, I should probably be saying. Professional restorations include uh, uh, original parts as much as you can, um, not Bondo, uh, nice paint, nice trim and stainless, and the effort that goes into it is a lot, a lot of work. It costs $60,000 to restore a truck today uh, uh, to these levels. So. Uh, at the price that this is right now and the history that it has, these have definitely become more collectible. You know, these were uh, trucks were not priced a whole lot of money and now they have really come into their own. So if there's a chance uh, that one of these could fit into your lifetime, this is the time to buy something like this because as it goes up in value each year, you'll be kicking yourself for not doing something like that. And uh, at the end of the day, if you can have some fun with, uh, with an investment, you could drive your investment around and it's going up in value too, what's not to like? Anyway, 38 pickup right here, Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Find a way to get this into your life. It is an awesome, awesome piece. 301-816-1000.